Okay, tips and tricks in Microsoft Teams. The first one is your headset and how to make sure that you're using the right one. When you're in the calls section, bottom left, it'll list the headset that you're using. If you click on that, it'll show you all of the headsets that you have available to you. The other option is to come back to the three dots in the top right hand side, settings, devices, and there again, you'll have the choice between the varying app devices that you've got plugged in. I strongly recommend that you make a test call and this will let you know what you sound like uh, and what the far end is gonna sound like to you as well. So the second tip of the day is how to change your call forwarding. Again, when you're in the calls section of Microsoft Teams, if you come to bottom left, it shows all the forwardings that you've put in place prior to. You can easily select one of those. You can get there by the more settings. And again, here are all of the diversions that were uh, listed in the previous section. Right, physically making phone calls, apart from obviously using the dial pad, you can come back and if you type call, you can then go and list another person or just go and type the telephone number uh, and dial. Three options, hold, transfer, consult and park. Let's look at a, a consult and transfer. First of all, it places the call on hold gives you the option to uh, look somebody up and at this point I can go and chat to them prior to doing the transfer or I can transfer to any one of these destinations so Teams, Mobile or their landline. Let's bring that call back. Parking. When you park a call it's going to put it on a slot between 0 and 10 or just depending on um, how your solution has been programmed. Here we can see, share this code 10 to retrieve the call. And if we just come back to the calls tab, park calls, enter 10, we'll be able to get that call back.